Do you want to create your first iOS application on your MacBook M1? For that, all you need to do is install Xcode. So to install Xcode, open your favorite browser and search for Xcode. And just go to this first link from developerapple.com and just click on this download. So I would prefer going into the website and just log in with the Apple ID. So if you don't have Apple ID, so you can just create from create yours now. So just create one and log in. So once you log in with your Apple ID, so this will show with the download options here. So as I'm recording this video, so 13.3.1 is the latest version. So if you have the newer version, so you can go with that as well. So just click on this view details and you just need to download this zip file. So since I have already downloaded, so I don't need to download it again. So once you download this zip file, so this might take 10 to 20 minutes according to the speed of your internet. So once you download this zip file, so let me just double click to install this zip or extract this zip into this downloads folder. Again, extracting this zip file also might take two to five minutes for extracting. So once this Xcode is extracted, so let me just drag and drop into these applications and let me just go into the launchpad and search for Xcode and let's just click onto the enter. So once this is verified, let me just click on agree and let me just enter the password of my Mac. And here you can see the welcome page here. So just click on this create new Xcode project and just choose this iOS, just choose the app and just click on next. So here you just need to give the name of your project. So let me just give something like first iOS project and just click on next. So you can just choose this interface Swift UI and just click on next. So let me just create inside the desktop. So just click on create. So once this is done, so this will create the first iOS project here and for automatic preview so here you can see the canvas so if you are not able to see this you can just click on this editor and just check this canvas so this will show the canvas here and let me just click this one here and double click to maximize this one and if you just click on resume here so this will display the live preview from this code here so let me just wait for this to open so here you can see the live preview and it's showing hello world from here. So if I just change something from here, something like code with origin. So you can see the live preview in the iOS app here. So this is the iPod touch. So if I want to change this into iPhone 13, so just click on iPhone 13. So this will take some time to change this into the iPhone 13. So just click on resume. So here you can see it's preparing for simulator for previews. So here you can see it's loading the preview on iOS 13. So if I want to run this application in real simulator or real device, so I can just click into this start the active scheme. So just click on that. So this will open the simulator. So here you can see the simulator is opening. And also you can see the code with origin from this code here. So it means the app is running successfully on the iOS simulator on iPhone 13 as well. So we will continue with this live preview here. So let me just click and resume. And suppose I just want to add some more text here. So I can just type something like text. And let me just write something like programming youtube channel and let me just go here and just remove this padding from here and let me just go here and just type v stack and let me just open the curly braces and let me just grab this both text into here and let me just paste it inside here so you can see the both text are coming here so I just want to make this one title. So for that, I can just type font and just type dot title. So this will make this code with us in title. And I just want to make this one sub headline or subtitle. So for that, I can just type font and just type dot sub headline. So this will make this one sub headline.
so i just want to change the font color also so for that i can just type dot and foreground color and just type dot i just want to change it into blue so this will change the color and just type foreground color and just type dot blue so this will again change the color into the blue so down here i just want to add one more image as well so for that i can just type image and first i just want to add the image into this assets inside this first ios project so just click on this assets and you just need to create the new image set so you can just give the name so i will be choosing the image so this is the default name and now i just want to drag and drop the image into here so for that let me just go into the finder and inside this picture i have got one logo of my youtube channel so i will just drag and drop into this 3x and let me just close this one from here so the name of this image is image so we will just go into the content view and inside this image let me just type image and just type just let me just resume this one from here so that it will display the image so let me just again click and just type dot clip shape so i just want to display inside the circle so for that i will just type circle and let me just open the bracket here so you can see the image has been already displayed here and i just want to give some shadow as well so for that i can just type and just type radius i will give the seven so you can see the shadow here just outside this image and now i just want to make one more circular border outside this image so for that i will just type overlay so just type overlay and i just want to make it circular so for that i will just type circle and i just want to give the stroke so for that i will just type stroke and the color i just want to give is white so for that i can just type dot white and also i just want to give the line width of four so if i just write this one so you can see it has already changed inside this live preview so i just want to change it into the simulator as well so for that i just need to click here so this should replace the contents and now you can see the first ios app is installing and you can see it's successfully running on our iphone 13 simulator as well so this is how you install xcode on your macbook m1 and also write your first program to create the ios application thank you so much for watching if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next one